friends, it's Nancy. We're here to do part 10 of Edith Holden's An Autumn Country Diary. So this time uh, we are going to be using the mushrooms that I fussy cut from page 156. And now some of these might look a little weird. Like this one here was attached to a much bigger mushroom. I just cut out the small piece. Um, the only label I was able to save was this one, um, which is the polypore. Um, to, I, today is going to be our last project. Um, there are a few bits left, so we still have the hazel tree leaves and the hazel nuts, but it's, it's pretty big. Um, and I, I'm really stumped with what can we do. Um, so aside from using it as a fussy cut on a page, I'm really stumped. So um, I'm just going to keep them as well as the, the little name labels. Um, we also have these big chunks of leaves from that page four and uh, these uh, leaves from page four as well. The reason I have so many of them is because I have six copies of the book. <laughs> you should only have one, <laughs> unless you do have six copies of the book. So we're going to make some clusters. So what I've done is I've taken some of the texture, text part, and um, I want to tear four pieces out that are about two inches by three inches. So I'm just using my tear ruler that I made myself with a pair of um, pliers, needle nose pliers. I had to think for a second. And And it works just fine. And I like having a clear ruler because you can see through. So. So that's two by three. So that will go with this pile. Also going to tear up some tea dyed paper. this while we're at it. Oh, wrong side. There we go. Tea dyed paper. We're going to tear two and a half inch squares. move this up so you can see that it's one, two, and a half. One, two, and a half. It's not perfect, but it's close. It's close to perfect. Um, music paper, uh, about two inches square. Some of these are closer to one and a half inches. Like this one here, this 
this one's yeah one and a half by two well, you know close and then um, onion skin or parchment that's been tea dyed these are these are again two by two ish well actually that's more like one and three quarters by one and three quarters so it's, it, there's no hard and fast rule here okay just grabbing my book here so I can do some inking so the first thing I'll do is ink up four of these pieces So let's pretend those are all inked. <laughs> then we're going to ink up uh, four of these pieces. Okay. We're going to pretend those are all inked up. Now, I'm going to use some glue and I'm just going to put glue on half of the um, tea dyed paper and I'm going to lay this over top. Next I want um, some music paper and I could and I'll do all I would do all four at the same time. So next we would ink up four pieces of the music paper. And I'm going to sort of frame it, you know, so it's, you know, more or less the same margin size all the way around. And then with a piece of this uh, onion skin, I'm just going to add four little dots because I don't want it totally adhered to the music. I just want it tacked down. And I'm just going to sort of layer it like that. Okay, uh, now I'm going to add some stitching. And I'm just going to stitch a narrow uh, margin perimeter around the... Um, onion skin paper. So I'm going to um, pause the video just for the time being so that you don't have to listen to the machine. Okay, the stitching is done. Uh, all of the mushrooms have been inked up so you don't have to watch me ink. Just stop the camera from shaking. That would be good. Okay, so we don't want all of these to look exactly identical. So we're going to mix them up. Uh, so one will go this way, turn 90 degrees, one will go that way, turn 90 degrees, one will go that way, turn 90 degrees, and one will go that way. So whichever you decide to put where is largely up to you. Um, I feel like I like that one there. Um, I think I'll, I think I'll put that one there and then I can lay the little title there. I think I'm going to trim that title down. I think it's too big. Um, you can go there. Nope. Other way around. You can go there. You can go there. Okay. So, uh, I'm just going to trim off the... Latin, re-ink that, so very very simple and and I just, 
the measurements, like I said, are meaningless. <laughs> I just know that some people really struggle with collage. So I thought, okay, well, let's just do squares and rectangles and layer them up. Well, it's not really collage, it's, it's, it's layering. And uh, we'll call it done. I don't know if there's an up or down, but okay. now these can be used to decorate a um, corner of a page, uh, a tag, an envelope. whatever you want to do with them. I think just fill up some space. If you have a page that looks like it needs a little bit of something something. Kind of like that, tilted like that. This is one of those uh, lighter ones. Like I mentioned, uh, depending on when the um, book was printed, some pages are darker than others. And last but not least, cat's back. Let's put that like that. All right. So I really want to thank you for joining me on this little journey. Um, if this is the first, um, Edith Holden series of mine that you've watched. I do have playlists for the other three three journals um, that have each of the videos taking us through all of the individual projects. So please go ahead and check out those videos. Um, I don't know what's next. Uh, who can tell? <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for uh, checking in with me. Um, let me know what you think of the projects. We'll talk to you again soon.